Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So, if you have seen my previous episode, where I explained how to use a TCP communication with SSL with Java, now your soul is going to sing because today I'm going to do exactly that, but in Python. And what I'm saying, it's not that Python is any better in this regard, but it's definitely much easier. Plus, we don't have to create key store. We can use our keys and certificates just like that. And in here I have one certificate authority certificate, one private key and its own uh, certificate signed by this certificate authority certificate. So basically this is self-signed certificate. And I named these two broker because I'm already using this with my uh, MQTT mosquito broker. So name doesn't matter, this is going to work in this example too. And if you want to know how to create self-signed certificate, I have episode just for that. In here we are going to uh, use these certificates and this uh, private key uh, for our Python project. And these three elements are uh, content uh, of my uh, security directory in uh, my Visual Studio Code workspace. So I'm going to close uh, this uh, directory for now. In here I'm going to create two Python files. One is going to be server.py and another is going to be client.py and first we are going to deal with the server so what we have to do I'm going to import socket and SSL I'm going to create a context is going to be SSL underscore create unverified context. We are going to uh, use unverified context because we are dealing with self-signed certificates. And as argument, we are going to provide SSL dot protocol TLS server. Now with context dot load we are going to use uh, load uh, certificate chain. Now in here as arguments, we have to provide a path uh, to our uh, broker private key and broker certificate. So first we are going to provide a path to certificate. So it's in local directory security broker.crt. And now we need to provide path to the key security forward slash broker key all right now we are going to create socket so call it sock socket socket and we are going to provide the arguments of socket af in it and socket sock stream all right so this app is going to be quite simple we just want to establish communication and to send message from server to client now with context wrap socket because we need to wrap this socket in uh, SSL encryption we are going to provide sock as first argument, then server side we have to set to true and s s sock. All right. Now we are going to use uh, this socket in order to uh, bind the local address. So address is going to be. 127.0.0.1 this is local address in and second argument I am going to use port 10001 now we are going to start listening with s sock listen I'm going to print waiting and when we receive a request for communication from our client I'm going to create two objects, so connection and address with sock accept. All right, with server, I'm going to uh, print this address out 
and with connection I want to uh, send message message is going to be hey this is SSL server with Python and we need to encode this message all right our server site it's done and I'm going to uh, copy this entire content in client and we are going to make a modification for clients so socket and SSL it's totally fine we have to change this first line into TLS client now we don't need to uh, load certificate chain we have to load verify location and we have to provide only one argument and that is certificate authority certificate so that is CACRT socket creation it's totally fine now with context of wrap socket we don't need this argument so we are not on server side anymore name of this socket uh, as socket it's totally fine but we are not going to bind it we are going to connect we are not listening don't need to print waiting this line is also not necessary i am going to create message from uh, ssoc and i'm going to use function receive we are going to receive 128 bytes and then i'm going to decode that message message equals message decode and i'm going to print content of this message out and we don't need this last line all right so uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this server and I'm going to execute it. Ah, yes, I forgot about bind. <laughs> I didn't call this function. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, we are waiting. And uh, now I'm going to open this directory we have client.py i'm going to open my terminal in here and i'm going to run this client from my terminal so i'm going to use python 3 client.py hey this is ssl server with python so guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new and interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.